Hi, good day. I'm making this video to share an experience um, with this website, forcefactor.com. I've, you know, seen the advertisement I've been reading and I decided to put myself to the test as um, someone who should know, who should know better about scams and um, in, um, electronic scams. So here I'm reading a whole lot of complaints from consumersaffairs.com. We have complaints from um, countries such as UK and Pennsylvania in the US, Toronto, Canada, Port Macquarie, I don't know where that is, or Chester in New York, all over the world, you know. So here, here it goes. I've jumped to the website here, forcefactor.com. I'm gonna try the X180 Ignite. It's the most advanced free testosterone booster. Yet. Advanced free. I I don't know what most advanced free testosterone booster. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna try. So here I go. I would like to have this is their website, a 14-day trial. Nice box there. See if you qualify for a sample. So I'm gonna put in my first name, James. If I could spell that right, I'm 18. Why I'm looking for this? Well, I would like the bonfire. I got a big belly, man. And yes, I am ready to do what it takes to enhance my performance. Oh yeah, sure. Let me see if I qualify for a free sample. Congratulations, I qualify. Okay, now, yeah, that's great. I have low confidence. I feel very... No, I, I, I don't feel, you know, and I don't have no low confidence. So let me put my name, James Williams. My phone. Yeah, my email. My address it's available for Australia. Myself is I guess this sure. Okay. Oh. Zero four five. Six two two one okay. All right, first factor ignite. Um, credit card transaction is backed by standard encryption string. That's fine. That's fine. It's four ninety nine for the trial sample. Here, let's see what it says. The terms and condition. The fine prints, my friends. Try our 14 day sample to discover the incredible benefit you pay only for 99 for shipping and handling. You have no obligation to buy in the future. Let me just give you the summary of what. So, this is clearly telling me that as um, I'm signing up for this trial here, I am authorizing that this post factor people um, company actually continues to send me orders, continuous orders, um, 18 days after the order of the sample so it's an automatic sign up for some for the product without having to sign any form now all that is good all this is excellent so i would go ahead and i will make my order okay so the next video that i will do or the next part of the video will show that i made the order and what happens um transactions such as your invoice and so forth is sent to your email Right, so here I'm showing you the order number for the test sample. Um, I shipped that order on this date, that's the 26th of the 11th. So I got a tracking number. All this looks fine, all this is great, okay? That's, that's great. So here is the transaction for false factor for the samples, 580 Australian dollars conversion rate. Um, so that's all that's pretty fine, I'm happy. So at that point, I have 
a blank statement I also have I also have communication via email giving me shipping um, what I call an order an idea for order the order um, status even a tracking number to track my sample package that's great oh I also missed to show you that I got my order confirmation number so this is you know business as usual when an order is placed online you get an order confirmation maybe a few days after they give you an, a status update with shipping and tracking you could check your account your electronic account your credit card or debit card account you would be able to trace that um, transaction I showed you all this in this video everything is fine so first factor to this point seems to be genuine including the statement that is of fine print at the bottom but please wait please wait because I want to show you how these what I consider to be the the force that they are using and how this force is, a, is, a, is actually a scam factor with this company so I'm back here to demonstrate that after 18 days we expect to you know get an order now when an order is placed and when a transaction is performed on your credit card or with a company we has a, we have established that you would get what I consider to be some electronic invoice or receipt so let's just do a false fact search in my email and let's see what comes up false factor false factor I'm looking for false factor I want to show all right here we go here we go here we go I have one two two emails here with false factor and these two emails are from the um, 22nd of November when I made the order and the 26th when the order was shipped so I have no other I have no other um, details from false factor so here we go no other details from false factor I'm very convinced that this is good this is good but then lo and behold here is my credit card transaction yep there we go, false factor, 10891. There is my transaction. And my main problem is there is no receipt, no confirmation, no order. There is no communication by email that I have placed an order with false factor. No, am I just kidding myself or am I missing some point here? Isn't it part of the business process that when an order is placed regardless of a subscription that you get your 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 order status or your order point via email or some invoice well I did some more research apparently what they are doing based on what I've been reading from the good complaints from our friends here is that these guys are sending you the invoice along with the the um the order for example this guy says here he received but I want the debit to this card and Visa can't do anything about it and they want RMA etc etc now this is clearly a violation of our agreement when it reach reaches to this point they are doing things behind your back the best we could do at this point in time the solution change your card don't even consider talking to your bank just change your card tell the bank that you know cut your card and tell the bank you need a new card tell them your card is damaged or destroyed go to the bank and say my card is damaged I need to ch change your card because you may not even get your bank to cooperate with you because the bank may say they have explained on the website that there is you know this part and this part and you as a cost consumer really and truly this is a violation so I like consumer affairs and I like the guys who have you know put this information here to safeguard others from going through this experience um, I don't know if the product works I'm here I don't know if the product works where is the product you know um, the whole idea of me doing this video is to help educate that there is a lot of scams on the web um, appealing scams they may start off very convincing and they don't look like a scam or anything like that but we have to be careful when we are using our credit cards 
that's why I always see you know it's best to use PayPal because you have control you you don't get people doing these things to PayPal you have your complaints with people and they actually do a lot of that middle management of funds and transactions for you so these things we have to be very conscientious about as consumers I like this word here this one yeah rip off swindle this, this is this is this is actually a good definition of this company and let's share the information consumer affairs is doing a good job but we have also other websites that could help us out thank you